Lucas Media. So, Bronny is still the talk of the NBA draft. Even though they're saying that this has been the weakest draft I've seen since at least 2013. When Anthony Bennett was selected with the number one overall pick. But um, I was listening to the first take. I mean, first take. Undisputed and um, Nightcap with uh, Uncle Shea and Ocho Cinco. And, you know, they all kind of said similar things. Now they're saying that Bronny might be a first round pick in favor of Lauren LeBron. And I kill, I still keep seeing people making videos and talking about life ain't fair. I mean, how it's not fair. And, you know, there's there's plenty of other people that, that earned the right before Bronny. Well, as y'all can see in the thumbnail, it's all about the money, man. I'm sorry. Wu-Tang, Cream, Cash Rules, everything around me. That Listen, you got to think. They got two options. They can either draft somebody, right, who might not even make the team, because that's what a lot of second round picks are. Or you can draft somebody and your team goes up in value at least 30 million. And that's without LeBron being there. Let's just say hypothetically, I don't know. Well, yeah, let's just say Cleveland. Cleveland drafts uh, Bronny. LeBron goes to Cleveland. Cleveland's already a playoff team. You don't think Dan Gilbert's value grows up at least three, four hundred million if LeBron goes back and Bronny's there? All their games would be on ESPN. They would get hundreds of millions of dollars worth of free advertisement. And again, Dan Gilbert's team would go up a couple hundred million. Come on, at LeBron's final tour, playing for Cleveland where it all started. Even if they were to draft Bronny, just the allure that LeBron might come in a year or two. You got people that want to go to all the games to see Bronny. Because wherever Bronny went, people followed. You see, all the stars wanted to show up at the USC games. They wasn't showing up like that prior to Bronny being there. But it's the LeBron Bronny effect. And that's what y'all got to understand, man. Wherever this man walks, you know, he brings cash flow. He putting people in the seats. He going to sell out merchandise. And that's really the NBA's bottom line. I'm sorry. We, again, we know it's not fair, but life ain't fair. And it is what it is. And trust me, I don't care what none of y'all say. If y'all can bring your value up a good $50 million for somebody who may or may not have earned the spot, you would do it. You would. I'm sorry. Y'all would. Let, come on. Now, let's keep it real. And I just wish the commentators, I wish everybody would just be honest. You know, it's all about that value that he's going to bring to the team as far as generating attention. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.